What's up, Aries? It's West Coast Tarot with your May Love General Reading. This is for my lovely Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading and may not resonate with every Aries out there. But if you like my style and I vibe with you, please like the video and subscribe to catch future West Coast Tarot videos. Also, if you are interested in any of the decks that I use or would like a personal reading, all that information can be found down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and see what the general energies are in regards to love for the month of May for my Aries. Now keep in mind, um, this is a general reading. I do try to make them as personal as possible. However, energies can be reversed, roles can be reversed, so just take it how it resonates, okay? So tell me about my Aries for the month of May in regards to love. Mature woman. So um, a lot of you could be a divine feminine or a woman and really just starting to level up. You've been through some things. You've learned a lot of lessons. Um, some of you could be o the older woman in a situation or just the more mature adults in a love situation as well. A lot of you are beautiful. Um, a lot of you could be brunette as well, but a lot of you can be focusing more so on yourself, on your self-worth, on your looks, on your body, on your health, even, even just um, your confidence, right? So a lot of you could be focusing more so on your confidence. So that's beautiful. What other energies are going on for Aries for the month of May? New love. Wow. So yeah, a lot of you are focusing on moving towards a new love situation, one that is timeless, one that is precious, like a precious stone. I feel like you guys have learned in a situation. It's really just leveled you up. You guys have probably came out of a situation where, you know, the lesson was hard, okay? But you realize your worth and now you are only accepting new love with value, with the stone here, I'm, I'm really feeling that if you guys want a new love, but not just any love, you want one that's, that's made to last, okay? That's definitely made to last. So let's go ahead and see um, what the energies are. We'll go ahead and get into the tarot. We're going to do the West Coast spread. West Coast spread. Tell me about my Aries for the month of May. In love and I always pre shuffle my decks and stuff in between readings but I just like to give it a little bit of energy going Aries for the month of May we have the judgment we have strength the hangman we have four of Pentacles the hermit Temperance in reverse. Five of cups. <laughs> Seven of cups. And eight of wands in reverse. We have ten of pentacles. I'm going to move this up a bit so you guys can see. Knight of pentacles. The Empress in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, Nine of Wands in reverse, and Four of Swords in reverse. Okay. Whew. So, it looks like overall, with the judgment here, I feel like a lot of you are starting to wake up, okay? A lot of you are coming out of a situation and realizing really reflecting on it but more so really realizing what what the purpose was okay you're awakening to a situation i feel like you're now leveling up you're becoming stronger this is the strength leo energy i feel like you guys have been so much so focused on something from the past um there was something that was keeping you stalled and stuck 
But now um, I really see that because the hangman here is in reverse. I feel like you guys were stuck on a situation for so long. Everything was just stalled. But I feel like you guys are finding your strength right now. And you're really starting to rise above. And I feel like... You only held on because you guys were fearing change. You guys were fearing losing someone. But I real now, I now realize that um, by holding these cards, you guys know that with the judgment here, you know that you don't need anyone but yourself. And um, you're no longer remaining stuck in a situation, okay? So let's put some clarification on this. Spirit, tell me about the judgment card. Why is this here? Yeah, you guys... Um, had been trying to work on a situation with the three of pentacles here. I think a lot of you may have realized that there was, it was just too messy. That one person wasn't giving to you the way you wanted to. So a lot of you have opened your true, your eyes to the true situation. And you're realizing that you can stand strong on your own. Tell me about the hangman in reverse spirit. Why is this here? Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so you guys were definitely in a situation um, that was pretty destroying to your confidence. I feel like a lot of you guys had to defend yourself at some point. But you, you know, you're just releasing this situation that was overwhelming to you. You're giving up. And um, you're no longer remaining stalled is what I'm feeling. Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this is definitely um, a partner. Uh, it was a, per a person that has had you stuck for some time. This is also Gemini energy. does not have to be. But with the lovers in reverse, I feel like you guys were waiting and hoping it to see if someone would change. Um, but I think you guys are now realizing that it's time to focus on new love um, and letting go of this person in the past because you are, your eyes are open to the truth. This wasn't an easy journey, though, and I'm really happy that you guys are waking up to this because I feel like for so long you just held on to this, and this person that you guys were interacting with, this person that was in your energy, I really feel like after them, you guys kind of had to have a guard up. Like I don't feel like you guys are as trusting of people. I feel like you guys are careful with what you tell people, careful with what you disclose, are careful about your feelings or catching feelings for people. Um, but I feel like even though you're moving on, a part of you still slightly holds on to them with the four of pentacles here. Um, but for the most part, you know, I, you guys with the hermit here in reverse and the temperance, you guys know it wasn't a healthy situation. I feel like it really hit you hard. I feel like it really, um, you know, a lot of you could have been depressed over the situation, honestly, with the hermit here in reverse. Um, a lot of you were feeling lonely. A lot of you were waiting for this person, I feel like. And I don't even have that card here telling me that you're waiting for this person, but I feel like you guys were waiting for this person to get their shit together, and I feel like they didn't, so now you guys are moving on. But with the temperance here in reverse, you know, you're no longer being patient in the situation, um, you know, it's because what was that doing to you? It was, it was giving you, you know, no balance in life, right? It wasn't serving you. So I'm very happy that you guys are moving out of this energy here. A lot of you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius or a Virgo. Spirit, please clarify the four of pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah, I definitely feel like it was a um, a third party situation here. It doesn't always have to be a love connection, but I do read for love. But I definitely feel like you guys were holding on to someone that you may have been involved with in the past in a third party situation. So they might have had someone, you might have had someone, you, both of you might have been in a relationship, but you are longing for them to return. Spirit, please clarify three of cups in reverse. Why is this here? many. Clarify three of cups spirit. Why is this here in reverse? Yeah, that's you. This is you. You guys, Aries, you guys are disappointed. Um, you know, you guys have been trying to remain positive, but I really feel like your heart still hurts over this connection, but you're doing the best you can. Okay. Um, 
you still long for the person, but it it's still not knocking you down because I feel like you guys are still walking around with your head held high. And I feel like you know what the connection, you saw the connection for what it was, okay? And I feel like right now your main focus is yourself. And although you are hurt, you're disappointed, you're releasing it for the time being is the energy that I'm feeling. Spirit, tell me about the hermit. Tell me about the hermit. Why is this here? Yeah, I feel like you guys are now just being very careful, very cautious. You're now using your head over your heart. I feel like you won't allow just anyone around you, okay? You're very, um, you have become very disciplined and only seek the truth okay so you just won't let anyone too close to you unless they really want to bring you honest communication is what i'm feeling and until then you don't mind being alone until you have the right one okay um spirit tell me about the temperance in reverse why did this come out too many tell me about the temperance in reverse The magician in reverse, yeah. The person that you guys were dealing with could have been someone who was very, um, they could have had, you know, they could have been, had some mental health issues. I do have to say that. But there was someone who was very deceptive to you. And so this is why you guys are so cautious and don't allow just anyone around you. Because you guys had someone around you previously who was a liar. I know they lied to you. They may have been working on other situations. Um, just very deceptive in how... And how they presented themselves to you. A lot of them played mind games with you, okay? So this is why you guys are being very cautious. And although it hurts and you have released it, you're not letting it bother you, okay? Or you're not letting anyone see that it bothers you. The Aries are very emotional. They're very loving people. They're very caring. But um, they have a soft heart. But you only can burn them for so long before they burn you. Um, this person though, I feel like they're upset that they lost you. Um, I feel like they're looking back on the past with maybe what they could have done to change the situation. I feel like this person, um, is missing you. They're very regretful. I feel like they're disappointed perhaps in their own actions. I feel like this person almost in a sense is wish they could go back and change, but they don't know how to approach you. I feel like they're very confused on how to approach you. I feel like they feel that you might have a lot of options right now. I feel like in the past, this person had a lot of options as well. And I feel like this person right now um, is really just trying to search for purpose, trying to make a sound decision. I also feel like this person could be daydreaming about you a lot and really reflecting on the past and the mistakes that they did in this connection. With the Eight of Wands here in reverse, though, I feel like they're kind of panicked and they're waiting because communication has slowed down between the two of you. And for many of you, there may not be any communication. So I feel like this person is worried that they lost you forever and they're really regretful because I feel like you guys, even though you're hurt, you're not showing them. You're not, you're not showing them. You're still doing your thing. You're still rising up, right? And this person is worried that they lost you forever is what I'm feeling. Like they don't know. They're confused on how to get to you. They don't know how to get to you is what I'm feeling. Spirit, tell me more about this person. Please clarify Five of Cups. Why is this here? And a lot of you are getting attention from other people with that Beauty Queen card there. Yeah, this person could be drinking a lot as well to try to... Definitely. With the Nine of Cups here in reverse, I feel like this person could be drinking or overindulging in other things. This person is not happy with their actions. They're not happy inside. Um, I feel like they could be in a very unhappy situation currently. Maybe at their home life could be unhappy. Spirit, tell me more. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Tell me more, please. Yeah. They want to offer you something new. 
they want to give you a stable offer and they're stressing out over this but because they don't know how to give this to you because you guys are not communicating with them and many of you have cut them off with your sword. Spirit, tell me more about the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you guys are doing you, okay? With the Queen of Wands in reverse, you guys have definitely cut them off. I feel like you guys are not focusing on yourself. You're being selfish right now. You're being emotionally detached to them. And I feel like you're being selfish because you guys have been burnt by them in the past. So I feel like you guys are focusing on yourself. And they could be seeing you in the Queen of Wands in reverse because you're not giving them a piece of the attention. Like you probably gave them all the attention previously. You were focused on them. You always made sure that they were happy. But now that you cut them off, they're not happy that you're focusing on yourself. They see you as selfish and someone that could be detached. Whereas many of you cut this person off previously because they were detached to you emotionally detached to you. They were not offering your emotions. Spirit, tell me more about the Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Um, I feel like you guys are going to remain detached until this person changes. Okay, this is Scorpio energy. But I feel like unless this person changes their ways and goes through a metamorphosis, you know, I feel like you guys are going to remain separate from them. Because you guys know your worth. Um, you guys know what you want. And until then, you're going to go out and look for what else the universe has out there for you. You know, you guys are becoming more... You, this situation has made you more mature. I could barely talk right now. <laughs> so I already know there's really poor communication. Um, but I feel like you guys want something solid. You know, you guys have learned from this connection. And if this person wants to approach you again... They better come to you a changed person or they will be cut off forever. Externally to you, I feel like this person may have had a, they have, may have been getting over a divorce or a long-term connection prior to you. This person might have been um, stuck on a past marriage or long-term relationship prior to you as well. And that might have really interfered. This person could have had money issues as well. But I'm also feeling like um, this person wasn't stable. And they probably didn't have enough to give to the connection. And that could have greatly contributed to why they might have been um, fickle with you or in and out. They maybe they especially if they were Earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This is someone who doesn't want to just hop into a situation unless you know, especially a long term situation, unless they have enough to provide for the future. So I feel like this person may have felt they didn't have enough resources or stability to give to you. Spirit, tell me more. Please clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Why is this here? And a lot of them could have been very prideful. Um, that you guys could have been... This is Leo energy. But that's also a thing that greatly contributed to this connection was that this person had a really big ego. They were very prideful. And they were very dominant. They wanted to be the controlling... They wanted to control the situation is what I'm feeling. They wanted to be the dominant masculine force in this connection. Obstacles, we have Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm really feeling like, again, this is earth energy, but I feel like this person was lazy and didn't want to put work into the connection like you guys did. I feel like this connection was definitely one-sided. I feel like Aries, you may have gave more to the connection. Um, keep in mind, energies are reverse, can be reverse cross-watchers, okay? Um, but I feel like Aries may have given more to the connection and this person was lazy, didn't want to put in the effort. This person wanted to have dessert without eating their dinner, you know? So I feel like this person was not stepping up like the Aries did because Aries are not lazy. When they want to do something, they jump right in. If, if they love someone, they love someone with all their heart. Spirit clarify, Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like you guys waited for them. This is temperance, Sagittarius energy. But I feel like eventually you guys just had to give up. You guys found the strength to move on. I feel like you guys were were very much so being patient. But I feel like you guys had to move on. You know, you waited for them. But you guys saw that they were never going to meet you halfway. They weren't even going to, you know, get out of their car and come get you at the door is what I'm feeling. I really feel like this person knows 
about you with the temperance in reverse, I feel like they know you're no longer giving them their attention. You guys are no longer nurturing this person. You're no longer caring about this person. And this is how they're seeing you. They see that you're focused on yourself. You might be focusing on others, but you're no longer giving to them. You're not even giving them an ounce, okay? You guys are doing your own thing. And I feel like this person knows it, okay? I feel like this person, in a sense, um, is really regretful because they don't know. They feel they lost you forever, is what I'm feeling. Spirit, clarify the Empress. Why is this here? A lot of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn, but you guys have... And, and it could just be a Capricorn, okay? It doesn't have to be a toxic situation. But I feel like a lot of you have released the situation for the time being. And... This person knows that you're not going to put up with their toxic shit until they go through a metamorphosis, is what I'm feeling. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, Nine of Wands in reverse, and the Four of Swords in reverse. So I feel like a lot of you with the Nine of Wands in reverse, you guys are just really tired in the situation. You're exhausted. You're exhausted in the situation. You're not motivated to put work in. I feel like you guys are emotionally closed off to this past person. I feel like you guys at one point were very loving towards them, very compassionate. But this person played mind games with you. This person made you feel even insecure. They almost got you off your track for a bit. But I feel like you guys are ready to arise from this situation. I'm feeling like... You're restless now. This, You guys know the situation was stressful. It burnt you out. And you're ready to come out of this resting period. You're ready to go see what else is out there. You guys are ready to go see, you know, what other people are there today. You know, a lot of you might be getting, you know, hooking up with people, things of that nature. Going out with friends. So I feel like you guys are going to remain closed off to the situation that wasn't serving you. You guys, I do, I do see that some of you would take this person back if they change, but this is on their own. They have to find the way to do it. You can't make anyone change. They have to change for themselves. Spirit, clarify Queen of Cups. Why is this here? Thought I saw one come. Yep. Yeah, this is just a very... You guys, this situation is very stressful and I feel like you guys are just going to release it because you guys know that it's not serving you. Spirit, clarify four of swords in reverse. Why is this here? Seven of cups in reverse. I feel like you guys just know that what you thought you had wasn't really what it was. It was an illusion. And all it did was bring confusion in your life and stall you from moving forward to greater things, you know, moving on in your career. This was energy distraction, okay? This connection was distracting you from your higher purpose, distracting you from your money, distracting you from other connections. It was just an energy distraction. And I feel like for the time being, you're done, you're focusing on yourself, and if this person wants you back, they better come with a stable offer and not just anything, okay? Or they will lose you forever, and they know this. And this is why they're stressing out. And this is why they're drinking. This is why everything is going on with this person. They're very remorseful. Spirit, what do Aries need to know for the month of May in regards to love, in regards to life, or in regards to the situation? Tell me about my Aries for May. In regards to love, in regards to life, or in regards to the situation. This is my unpredictable deck too. This is my wild deck. So let's see what pops out for you guys. We have, we have intent. During this time, a partner or soulmate is closely monitoring your intentions. Your actions could make or break your relationship. Drinking, drugs, promises, bad habits, or a third person. Yeah, so just watch your guys' actions. Someone's really watching right now. It could be a new suitor. Because I see a lot of you are getting out there. 
It could be this person watching you, waiting for the right time. But just be aware that someone is watching you and monitoring your intentions. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see um, what the romance angels have for my Aries for the month of May in regards to love. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So, and it is safe for you to love. So what I'm getting from this is that a lot of you might have been interacting with a person that you thought was your soulmate in the past. But I feel like although you guys have that connection with them, I don't feel like they were ready to enter this soul journey with you yet. And they have some leveling up to do. But many of them were a true love, so don't disconnect this. For others of you, it is safe for you to love, and it's safe for you to open your heart to new people, and you might find your true love is what I'm feeling, okay? What else for my Aries for the month of May? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I don't like how it says forgive your parents all the time, but what I'm feeling like is that there are some issues here that really need to be healed. I feel like this person you guys were interacting with on the energy field really needs a lot of healing um, in order for them to ever be ready for you, okay? Spirit, tell me about what message would you like my Aries to know for the month of May? In regards to love, angels, messages. It says, get to know each other. Learning to meet another's needs for love is important for a relationship to grow. So yeah, this is what I'm feeling. This is what the advice is. You guys know you guys were interacting with a person who took all of your energy. They could have been an energy vampire. And I feel like for the time being, you need to set it and forget it. And if this person comes back to you, they're yours. Okay, they were meant to be, but don't wait for them. A lot of you Aries need to do your own thing, but I see you guys are, okay, and that's beautiful. I feel like if someone doesn't want to put effort into you, why should you give them any time of your mental thought? Never, ever give someone time from your life, time from you that you can never get back if they would never return that, and I feel like you guys know that. And now it's time to get out there and meet new people. I feel like new love is on the way. You guys just have to realize that this situation needs to be released. If they come back to you, they do, then it's meant to be. But they have to come back a changed person and with a stable offer. So Aries, enjoy your month of May. I will catch you on your next video. Take care. Love and light always.